Hey there, if you're new here, glad to see you. For those of you returning, glad you're back. On today's video, we're gonna talk about a trailer that I've been working on for about a month. It's a trailer for a single motorcycle, and I really think you're gonna like it. Let's get to it. This is my this is my uh, future motorcycle trailer, single motorcycle trailer. Uh, I have another big trailer that can carry two bikes, and usually that one uh, I use when my brother and I go to Florida for Bike Week. Now this trailer here. I've owned for I don't know how many years six seven years it is a Harbor Freight I think I paid three hundred dollars for it and I use it for a little bit for my business I have a cleaning business for those of you that don't know do office cleaning and things like that very little for that but mostly to uh, haul motorcycles my son-in-law, who is into uh, woodworking, he carried trees on this thing, basically. Big six foot, eight foot logs. Uh, and I kind of put this thing through the ringer. So what I'm doing now is I am welding basically every joint that I can to stiffen this trailer up. Uh, it has been rear-ended. Uh, on two occasions because it's small uh, people in taller vehicles if they're behind you they won't see it because it's under their hood line and I've been I was uh, coming out of the city dump one time and a dump truck a lady in a dump truck a uh, big old truck hit me not once but twice and I mean that kind of stuff stirs my blood so i got out of the vehicle screaming and hollering she was so apologetic uh, she said i couldn't see it so my son-in-law put these little flags like they do on the bicycles and things like that the little orange flags uh, and that really helped so uh you can see here i've welded just about every joint that i can this piece if you look at it I don't know if you can tell but it's bent and that's that used to be the tail piece so that's why it's all bent up because it was rear-ended not once but twice uh, so I have plans of having this thing powder coated and uh, putting 
some type of sheet metal flooring to it i used to have a uh four by eight piece of plywood but that eh, doesn't really cut it uh in my opinion i would like something a little bit more sturdy so i'm gonna go hopefully with a piece of uh diamond plate four by eight which fits perfect on this trailer as you can see it is somewhat rusty but that's why i'm gonna have it uh sandblasted first obviously is what they do and then powder coated and that ought to make this thing very nice so uh right now i am boxing if you see me working on these pieces i am boxing that in uh because it is just somewhat of a tab if you will on both sides and i'm not very happy with i don't feel very secure with that like that uh i don't show you close up my wells because uh as some people have named it uh pig snot you know pig vomit it's kind of what my wells look like it's a you know work in progress for me i'm trying to improve but there's not a whole lot of welding i get to do so it's not you know till i do things like this that i get better at it so uh, some look decent and some look terrible uh and also i don't have the best welder in the world which is a harbor freight bottom of the line uh that's the unit i have uh, but it does work i'm not gonna blame it on the welder because i am not a pro at this so that is where i am at i am building a trailer to haul my motorcycles a single motorcycle hauling trailer uh with a wheel chock in the front couple hooks very basic this is a trailer that was ready to go to the scrap yard uh and i'm trying to uh make it usable again and i'm gonna make it usable again no. Oh, 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 oh,
worked on the trailer I should have it done hopefully to be able to take it to the powder coater in a week today is Friday hopefully by next Friday it will be at the powder coaters I still have a few things to do to strengthen it up and to make it look decent because right now it looks like a piece of garbage and I would not be uh, you watch my videos you know I don't like to ride junk so uh, with that being said yeah this thing needs a facelift so that'll be next <laughs> the trailer for a long time and now it's time to show you some details let me show you what I got there's the trailer all loaded up I'm about probably four or five miles from my house well as you can see I've done a lot of work to it this trailer was a lot of people had given up on it let me put it that way they thought I should take it to the trash but I knew better so my opinion on this trailer is you know there are some nice aluminum trailers out there that you can pay for a single motorcycle that you can pay a lot of money for and this is a very lightweight trailer that can carry a single motorcycle i know because we've used it plenty of times this uh trailer here has been to florida various times it's been to jersey it's been it's been to a lot of places here locally uh i picked up a few bikes so i am always uh moving bikes around and things like that and i have a trailer that can carry two motorcycles at once uh, but that one's kind of a pain in the neck. So this is this one is suits me just fine. And not only that, but it's easy to store. So with that being said, let me show you what I've done. As you can see, I put some uh, nice fenders on it. And I think you saw me doing that. I put the diamond plate uh, sheet on there. That's a 4 by 8 Fits perfect. Uh, lightweight keeps the trailer light the wheel chalk I have on there is a Harbor Freight now that wheel chalk comes black and I had it powder coated the same as the trailer I had it powder coated uh, the blue they powder coated the wheels not the wheels the fenders uh, they powder coated the wheel chalk as you can see then I had to wire it uh, That took a little bit of time. I welded it all up. I'm really happy the way it turned out I got some hubcaps for the 12 inch wheels Which I think look really slick Some little chrome hubcaps I got lights all over the place The fenders come off so if I have to change a tire which I've been doing recently I've been working on the wheels I actually bought a bigger wheel for it and it didn't fit because of the fenders so I had to take them back so I've been messing around with that for a while uh, the trailer works great I just drove it here with the bike on there I put the bike up the trailers probably two feet off the ground two and a half feet uh, so it's real easy to put the bike up there 
uh, strap it down with that wheel chock is a piece of cake now if I were to go for a longer trip I would strap it a little bit different as you can see the hooks that I put on the trailer itself I mean those things are heavy duty there you can see the lights that I put on it the side those look nice these are submersible LEDs. And I put the little red dots back there as well. Uh, so there's plenty of lights for a trailer this size. Uh, let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? And what would you have done differently than what I've done? I will tell you one of the things is I need to put a flag on it, kind of like they put on dune buggies uh and a lot of motorcycles that go in the uh that ride in the sand that ride in the dunes because uh this trailer has been rear-ended on two occasions and it's only been rear-ended once you come to a complete stop people forget that it's there especially if they're in a tall pickup truck and they can't see the trailer and they see the big gap you know who knows maybe they're playing with their phone i don't know arguing with their wife and they forget that that trailer because it's so low is there and then all of a sudden they they pull up on it and it's like i'm telling you it's been rear-ended on two occasions put the vin number back on there the tire pressure which for this trailer is 60 pounds per tire uh it works great i'm really happy with it I paid a fraction, you know, of the cost that it would cost me to buy a aluminum, lightweight, small, single motorcycle trailer. I mean, those things go for almost $2,000 these days. And I think mine's is better looking, my opinion. And, well, there we have it. So, uh, this is actually a 4x8 Harbor Freight. Uh, trailer that I bought seven eight years ago and it's been put through the ringer like I said some people thought it should be junked but I had better ideas for it so anyway hope you like it let me know in the comments what would you have done to it enjoyed the video for those of you who are new here consider subscribing on this channel we talk about all things that have to do with motorcycles as you can see it's not just about one brand or one topic we talk about reviews we talk about new products we do installations we do a lot of touring as well and we do it with different bikes of different brands well, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, consider subscribing. I think you'll learn something on this channel, now and then. Anyhow, you all take care. Watch out with the crazy people on the road, and I will catch you on the next one. Adios.